Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone, and this is just a kind of a my reaction, my opinion video on life of uh, Infinite Sight. She is the newest uh, orange tier operative that we have. Not the really newest, but the newest version of her. Um, she's the anniversary, first anniversary version. Uh, we get to pull her since she's not a few free unit, of course. I'm um, gonna give you my thoughts, guys, on overall look, design, how she affects the meta, um, key features in her kit. Probably gonna be the deciding factor whether you're gonna pull, you're going to be pulling for her or not. Again, um, her design is not for everybody. Her weapon of choice is not for everybody. But again, I hope I could give you more or less you need to know on how she how she plays how she is going to affect um, the characters or the operatives that we have now. So moving to her, basically I have her, I have her mostly at the, in a good level, more or less. We'll start off first with her look. The look for me is kind of over the top. Um, she got that uh, huge augmentation done um kind of over the top for me um but again at it to each his own i, I actually I already, I already accepted it for what it is so again who doesn't want those you know those thingies the augs those augmentations there so again augmentations aside the overall outfit i'm not digging it it's kind of weird for me. It's a space suit. It's like a superhero suit. Um, the guns, though, I dig. The original design, I like them. Um, again, I'm not sure if you guys are liking this look. But again, comment down in the comment section. Then we can discuss. Okay. Um, as for the hair, the hair is white. It's no longer blue. Not my, th not my thing with her. I like the blue hair, of course. And the frizzy hair, I'm not liking. So, with this look, I am trying to showcase this is her original look. Let's go towards her uh, other skin, which is the, you know, the wedding version of her. So, let us uh, just go back a bit here. So as you can see here, even the guns go well with her. You can actually use, you can, you can just get the skin, leave the guns as is. The guns look cool in this version. If you want to see the version, I actually got the skin for the guns as well. So let's go to weapon. Let's go to here. You're going to be using this. So this is how it looks. So if you equip it, it's kind of kind of thin. I like the other one more. I just realized it a couple of you know um, minutes ago that I like. I used this yesterday, but it's too thin. It looks like a pistol, and it doesn't look like an SMG. So uh, with that in mind, I'd like to go back to the weapon in the original skin. Just cancel them, and they go back to the original form. As you can see, this is more badass. It goes well anyway with the way she looks. So. I don't really mind that I have um, this, you know, this design with her to look at. So, again, this skin is for me better than the other one. This, um, the, the hair goes well with this, you know, with this outfit. And this outfit is probably one of the best that they've done. Uh, the augmentations are standing out. Um, again, I'd like them to be tiny bit smaller if i may say the, the previous one was already good it could have been bigger than that so in the middle of the previous one and this one so <laughs> stick to stick to that guys um they're actually yeah, don't want to delve in that okay um in terms of the meta the meta with her, um, she's gonna be a ma your mage that your main damage dealer. There are a lot in this category, so for her to be on top, she should give you something quite spectacular in terms of damage output. Okay, 
Can't argue with her. She is. She deals a lot of damage in bursts with her um, standard skill, with her dodge shot. Uh, not so much with um, with her gun, but the dodge shot and um, the dodge shot and the standard skill combo. You can combo as well the shot, but again, the, the most of the damage will come from the dodge shot. We'll go to that later, and also the um, ultimate skill. Um, I won't be going to the details of the skill in terms of the damage output and everything. I will demo more or less how it looks like, but definitely the damage is significant. You'll see later how much damage I'm putting out. I'm at M0. I don't have anything here. So she, I would tell you right now, guys, that she is a must get. Um, just to give you a quick mechanic. So this one, the standard skill um, applies uh, in, instant uh, sight. So instant sight when you do a dodge shot creates the dodge shot is clicking the dodge which has a shot uh deals a lot of damage then cycles through the ultimate so there's a kind of a cycle for the the, the the skill cycle for her it's not really hard it's easy when you do the cycle it basically uh increases damage plus it cycles efficiently or quickly to the ultimate skill Again, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna delve into the specifics of the skill. I will demo, do a demo on how big the damage is. I will also make sure that um, we will have a guide on her overall, you know, overall build um, after this video. So, again, quick damage output, excellent burst damage. We'll see that later. Quick, if you're bringing her in co-op and you have. You know, people with you. Definitely, she's going to be dealing a lot more damage than them. High damage and quick. So, the volume of damage in a short span of time is ridiculous, I tell you. Again, she does have two SMGs. So, magazine size is going to be a plus for her. She's going to, I think, have 100 before she reloads. So, again, a lot to shoot at. Um, the... Ballistic damage is not that much. It doesn't play much part in the way she deals damage. It is going to be her dodge shot. So easy to use mechanic. We'll, I'll showcase it now. So efficient skill cycle. So basically the skill cycle will be skill, um, standard skill, uh, shot dodge or dodge shot, then shooting with your regular shot, then shot dodge again up to a time that your ultimate is charged then do your ultimate then go back to that cycle again so i'll show you basically what i'm saying uh, before i do that before i do that um the only con i think i see with her is when you do the dodge shot because the dodge shot needs you need to have directional you need to have to control the direction where you're going to be dodging if you don't control your dodge she's going to be dodging towards the enemy Okay, so please take note of that. You have to control your dodge. If you don't want to dodge towards the enemy, definitely you have to go to the right or left or back. But if you just press dodge, she would just go straight at the enemy in a straight line. So let us do a demo here. Let's uh, do giggling. I've been do I've been you know I've been using her here. Um, I won't be using any you know any buffs. So she is technically m0 right now she i did have her gun though has two copies almost all is maxed um logistics not the ideal set but all maxed at 15 but more or less that is it we'll, we'll do more you know coverage on that no don't get anything so right now you do a again as you see there even for even for uh what do you call this even for the standard scale make sure that you also have a directional because again it is really difficult as you can see the cycle you got get gotta get used to as soon as you see that eye there you can you can dodge shot as soon as you do that so as you can see you can cycle a lot of damage output there you go. So I shoot. So as you shoot, 
Uh, as long as you're using a kinetic weapon, you can actually recharge that. I think that's uh, uh, infinite sight. Um, no, no, no. Um, it's in the standard scale. So as you, you can actually charge both uh, your that 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 eye through the standard scale or by shooting, shooting at enemies. As long as you have a kinetic uh, damage weapon. So that's it. So again. Please make sure that. Oh, I, I'm I'm not doing a directional, so let us do that first. Um, that was the standard skill. If you do the dodge, it's moving forward. They're moving forward. So again, you can just cycle this out. If you don't have the eye symbol in the in the middle, I'm calling it the eye because it looks like an eye. So you can do the dodge as well. So as you see that uh, the the what do you call this? As you use uh, the standard scale, uh, the, the the dodge shot more frequently. If you use the dodge shot more frequently, the count the the cooldown of your ultimate actually goes down. So the cycle is going to be standard scale dodge shot, shooting at the enemy with ballistics, then dodge shot. And as you as you have your um, your what do you call this your ultimate you do the ultimate because the ultimate shoots a lot of damage and the duration is pretty much very ridiculous guys as you can see there so it even reached to the second wave of the enemy so there you go so dodge a uh, no uh, standard skill. Dodge shot shoot again. It's it's a nice combo. You sometimes need to be you know you need to get used to it. Let's see, I have to get used to it, and you have to be careful when you're using her because you have to make sure that you're also in safety. Yeah, you don't necessarily move in the fray. You also have to make sure that you're not hit. So again, standard dodge, shoot, then dodge, then probably um, ultimate. See, the damage is significant, guys. This is only at M0, and yet she is going bonkers. Anyway, I'd like to leave it at that. Um... Again, the only con for her is doing the dodge shot and also probably not the damage, but the direction of the dodge shot. You have to control and you also have to control the look, the direction of the standard skill. Um, let's see if I can. That is your. Uh, you can actually control your standard skill. So the standard skills default direction is going to the back. The default of the dodge shot is actually moving forward. So again, it takes a little while to get used to get used to her. So again, if you guys have any questions on build, I won't discussing it here. I'm just saying that the the damage that she puts out is really ridiculous, both for for um, mobs and for bosses. For bosses, she's gonna be shredding them. Uh, probably she's going she is right now our top DPS in terms of damage especially with the burst category not the damage over time but burst category definitely she takes the cake as you can see there shreds with a lot of damage um, build again I won't be talking she is currently guys a must have really must have Especially if we're expecting more um, harder content in the future for Snowbreak. So she's future proof, I tell you. I don't think you'll be have a hard time investing in her. See, you can she shreds the shield pretty much easy. So again <laughs> There you go. Let's do the... You can't do anything. You can actually move for the with the ultimate. But you can't uh, do your standard skill. So it's a pretty long animation. There you go. See how quick. Quick. 
The eye. I haven't even said, you know, finished what I said, but he's gone. So, again, guys, I think best DPS, hands down, so far. Best DPS, best burst DPS. Not for um, damage over time, but, you know, dealing a bunch of damage in a short while while dealing tremendous damage. Again, I haven't really had her at any M whatsoever. But I have to admit, um, her weapon is at tier 2 already. So I'm done with the weapon. I just have to make sure that I have her, you know, um, probably get more copies with her through shards, probably through pulls. I'm not sure. I'm saving up my pulls for um, my next, you know, my currency for the next uh, banner. But for now, guys, she is she is good. Um, I don't think you can complain much with her. She's a must-have. Definitely. She's a tier above the current tier of damage dealers. She's a tier above. She's not she's not she's not in the you know in the tier one or tier she's probably tier zero. Tier zero or tier higher than zero. Again, she's a class of her own. So Again, I hope that you do, you know, have, show me your thoughts. Um, what do you think of her? Will you be pulling for her? Um, I think she's worth your currency at this point. If, you ha if you're a beginner, if you're a returning player, definitely she is a must, 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 must pull. Okay, guys. And I just want to leave you with, uh, you know, scenes from the interactive scene. So if I'm not, you know, if I'm not, I'm going to show you the scenes. There are a lot of interactions in the scenes. So again, as you can see there, my, the best interaction is this one. So I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to leave you to it. Um, please do get the skin. See, see that reaction. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do anything, but I did something. But again, guys. Um, returning players, new players, must pull. Um, again, the rest is optional, guys. Mm. The rest is optional. So please um, get her. Um, get the weapon. I'll compare the weapons during the build guide. But again, she is really, really worth it. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is the Warden. And I'm out of here. <laughs> Can't resist. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Bye.